Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 121. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, in this video, we're going to see how to count when you have multiple criteria, more than one criteria. Now, I've done other videos on this, but I want this to be a one stop um, video that shows you all all the tricks, uh, individual cells and tables for counting with multiple criteria. Uh, this is definitely one of the most asked questions on uh, discussion boards across the Excel world. All right, here we have sales rep, product sales. We're going to look at four different formulas and then we'll just build a table. Right now we just want to count the number of sales for sales rep fam and product toy. So in this cell, we're going to use an array formula, alt equals. And that's the keyboard shortcut for sum. And then I'm going to type a parentheses, highlight the range of sales rep without the field name, and I'm going to say equals this one, and then close parentheses. So inside of the sum, all we have so far is that. Now this delivers a bunch of trues and falses, and you can always check it by highlighting that part of the formula and hitting the F9 key, which is evaluate. And you can see, sure enough, that delivers trues and falses. But you always want to, uh, if you do that, control Z to get it back. Now we want to multiply those trues and falses by a bunch of other trues and falses. So now we're going to take that whole column equals this toy, this criteria here, and then close parentheses. Now that's it. That'll count. True times true would deliver a 1. 0 times 1 or 1 times 0 or 0 times 0 would deliver a 0. And when it adds them all up, it will give us the count. Now we have to hold Control and Shift and then tap Enter to enter this array formula. Now let's see how to do a similar thing, but with the sum products. This allows us to do the same thing, but without using the Control, Shift, Enter. So I'll have that range equals to that times this whole range here equals to that, and then close parentheses. So it's the same thing except for there's the word product there, and we just can hit Enter. And it uh, is telling me, I always say, it tries to suggest something. I'm going to I always click no because lots of times it's not smart enough to guess what you're doing. Then I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to edit it. Sure enough, I forgot the closing parentheses. Enter. Now let's, um, if you ever remember uh, the count if or sum if wizard from earlier versions, um, this is how that wizard would build it for you. They would say equals sum tab, and then if this whole range right here equals fam, comma, then if, again, so a second if, this whole range equals that. If that's both of those true, which means there's a true and a true here, then what do we want? Comma, one, comma, otherwise we want a zero, and then close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses. And this is a, an array, so we have to hold Control and Shift and Enter. Finally, if you have 2007, this is probably the easiest of them all, equals count ifs. And the all it wants is criteria range and criteria. So here's the first criteria range comma criteria. See, so we have a comma and it has the criteria. Now comma and it gets the second range. Comma and then criteria two. There's up to 64 of those you can do. 64 criteria, close parentheses and enter. Now let's build a table. These are individual cells. Oftentimes we want to see it in a table. Uh, pivot tables are perfect for this, but sometimes people uh, like uh, to do it with formulas. First we need to extract a unique a list of values from here and here. So we're going to highlight this whole column here, including the field name, and do advanced filter. In 2007, you go data, sort and filter group, and then right there. In 2003, you go to the data menu, filter, and then advanced filter. Now, it says filter the list in place. We don't want that. But first, let's deal with this. It's looking at the wrong column. I'm going to highlight this column since it's all highlighted and get the right column. Then I'm going to say copy to another location because I want to extract and copy to another location. We don't need a criteria range because we're going to click unique records only and copy to where? I'm going to click right there. Click OK. And sure enough, there it is. Now let's do it for the next one. Uh, data, the same thing, advanced filter. It's got the wrong range, so I'm going to highlight it. 
click Copy to another location, Unique Records, and that's wrong. So I'm going to highlight that and then click right there, click OK. Sure enough, we have our two uh, lists of unique records. Now I'm going to click in this cell and then come up to the uh, formula bar and Control X. And then click in this cell and F2, type a slash and Control V, because I want the labels up there. Then I'm going to double click that uh, column header right there. I'm going to click in this cell and I need to clear everything, the format. And actually, we don't need to do that. We can just uh, point to the edge of this one cell and click and move. That's a way to move it, and it will replace everything. And then we can move this right here, move this right here, and move this right here. Now I'm going to come up here and change the width of this F column just a little bit. I know there's some stuff up there we need. I'm going to highlight this whole range and add some borders. And now we can do our whole formula. The active cell, if we have the whole range highlighted, the active cell right there is where we'll create our formula. Equals some product. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to say this whole range right here, not including the field name. And we have to lock that, so I'm going to hit the F4. Equals. Fam, but now watch this. As the formula goes down, we need it to move to Sue and then Joel and Tina and Chin. But when we go across the columns, we want it locked, so I'm going to hit F4, 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 dollar sign in front of the column reference, but not the row. I need a close parenthesis, and I forgot the close the open parenthesis over here. That's a bunch of trues and falses that we need to multiply. This whole range right here, these, these are the uh, products. F4 to lock it. And that's got to equal this, because those are all the um, products. But now I need to lock it going down, because I need to look at toy here. But when I move over to the next column, I need to go to kite. So I'll hit F4, F4. That's locking it going down across the rows, but not across the columns. Close parentheses, close parentheses. And now this is not a number. Some product uh, allows us to do this array type stuff without doing Control Shift Enter. But because I have all the cells highlighted and I want to populate them all, I have to hold Control only and then hit Enter. And sure enough, there we have it. You can click in your last cell and hit F2. And sure enough, you see it's still got all the right ranges. All right, that's count if. The next one will be sum if. A bunch of tricks about uh, multiple criteria for summing. All right, see you next trick.